Hi guys, Fig Selector here, and this week I'm reviewing Necker's Alien 40th Anniversary Ripley in the jumpsuit. Mm. So, here's a quick look at the box, exactly the same as the Dallas box. Um, all the difference is, uh, you can actually see Dar Dallas on the back there. So, yeah, again, picture of the characters coming out in the next 12 months. Bit of information, blah de blah de blah. Anyway, let's get on with the figure. So, first up, we'll do the accessories. Now, Ripley comes with four accessories. First up, she comes with this um, flamethrower, I believe it is. We've seen it a million times before with a lot of uh, early figures. It seems to be the normal accessory that comes with a lot of them. So, there's that. She also comes with this well detailed um, sensor module. Um, there's a lot of detail on there. Look at that. Bosch. Nice. So, all the little buttons on there switches and knobs, dials. Space Age watering can. <laughs> She also comes with this small cat. There you go. Fairly well detailed. Oh, and its head does move. I didn't know that. So its head moves. It's got an articulated head. pretty badass so yeah she comes with this little moggy she also comes with this um, hatch and this opens up like so it's like a little microwave you can also fit the cat in there if you want to Just to uh, put it part of your display, you could do it like that. But for me, I display it sat on top, like so. Anyway, let's get on with the figure. Actually, let's have a look a bit more at this box. I rush through with that. So yeah, just looks like a. Like a microwave, if you like. Nicely detailed. So, yeah. That's a hatch. Now, Ripley. I've got to say, it's a really good figure. I like the plastics. So... The uh, set of three that I got, 40th anniversary, you'd think the joints were bad. It really weren't that bad. Quite easy moving straight out of the box, which is a surprise for Necker. But I really dig this face sculpt. It's done really well. There's a lot of detail on it. If My camera's not picking it up too well, but there's a, there's a lot of different paint tones on that face. The hair's done really nice as well. Well detailed. The jumpsuit feels like a rubbery texture, so she has got movement in the upper torso. She has got articulation in that shoulder, it does turn completely around, it's a little stiff. There's only a 90, de 90 degree bend in that elbow and her hand does turn 360 and there is a bit of a tilt there. But the detail on it is really well done, the badge there on the shoulder. Can you see it? Is it? Uh, yeah, it's not picking it up, but there's a great amount of detail there. Even the shirt's a soft rubber. Right down to her trainers. So she does do the splits, just about for me. Um, 
there is a turn in that upper, th uh, upper hip area there is a turn in the knee and she does do roughly a 90 but I wouldn't like to go further than that because it's a bit stiff so her feet do have a little amount of articulation to be honest they do slightly move up and down and there is a slight pivot there and they do turn from side to side but all in all she's a great looking figure great head sculpt greatly great detail on the figure throughout uh, so she does come like I say with a abundance of accessories so if you don't have this figure and you want them go get them if you're into your alien figures that is so I can't get her stand up now see all that messing about there you go so she does come with a nice amount of accessories there nicely detailed so there you go guys that's my quick review of NECA's 40th anniversary alien set of Ripley in her jumpsuit looks pretty bang tidy on the shelf so thanks for watching guys give us a like give us a subscribe and hit that notification button thanks for watching see ya